Do you feel confident when you're trying to present a video and put it out on YouTube? Hi, I'm Mark Bullock with videosocials.net and phoneblogger.net. And I'm in a video socials meeting, as I am many, many times a week, and uh, just had a number of people who haven't been doing this very long that did fantastic presentations, and all of which are still sitting with the, I don't know that I did that great. I, I, you know, I, I want to fill in the blanks a little bit more. I want to reinforce this point a, a little bit better. And... Uh, Laura Tamayo actually uh, brought up that this is not the 10 o'clock news. This is for YouTube. And I really, I really kind of grabbed onto that and said, you know, that's what we think of when we think of video, though, isn't it? Especially if we're over 20 years old, uh, we're used to seeing television. We're used to seeing the news broadcast. We're used to seeing when we see somebody in a talking head type of video. Uh, we're used to seeing that that um, um, that scripted, that you know, set perfect set and and perfect clothing and 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 perfect story, et cetera, et cetera. Reality is, is that's all fake anyway, right? It's it's it literally is contrived. What we are trying to put across on uh, these YouTube videos, as it were, or for whatever reason, or whatever place that you decide to put your videos, uh, is the ability for you to connect with your audience. And I don't know if you've noticed, within COVID, you start seeing some of the newscasts, you start watching some of the comedy skits, you start seeing, it, they're doing it on Zoom. They're doing it on, um, you know, from their home offices or from their living rooms, et cetera, et cetera. And so you get to see these newscasters without the perfect makeup, without the perfect, you know, setup, et cetera, et cetera. And guess what? Almost all of you in video socials are doing better than almost all of them. Think about that for a second. You really are. They're struggling with because they're used to having these huge support systems and, and, and having a script to follow and et cetera, et cetera. Um, we're doing better than they are because we're learning how to connect with our audience. We're learning how to get across the points that we want to, to, to give our audience. Um, in a way that they is approachable, in a way that they feel that they can get to know, like, and trust us, um, because it's not contrived, it's not fully scripted, it's not with an entire support staff that's that, that's thrown after us. So, how do you get confidence? One practice. It's just not going to typically happen that first time or two or three or four. It might take a dozen times, but. Once you get some practice, you will get more comfortable and that nervous energy starts to go away and you start to get feedback as you start posting videos of just how valuable this was to whoever watched it. So give, your, give yourself a break, cut yourself some slack, be willing to practice and hear the feedback that you're getting from the other members of, of your group because they're seeing you not as you see you, but as your audience is going to see you. And so when they tell you, no, this was postable, this is great, I, you know, I really learned something. You know, yeah, this little, this little thing that went wrong or this little bit of light or this little bit of sound or whatever, whatever it was that, that you thought was distracting or I didn't get around to or I forgot to make this point, let it go. Post it. Come back and, and, and do another one on, on, a, on a similar topic or, or bring that point home or make a part two or, or whatever it is. Get your videos out there. If it's you that's coming across on screen, that's what your audience wants to see anyway. They want to get to know you and they want the information that you've got to share with them. All right. This is Mark, videosocials.net, phoneblogger.net. Have a great day.